Good day, everybody. I'm Barbara Dave here, and this is uh, a welcome to all my subscribers on YouTube, uh, those of you on other wet shaving forums, and the cadre. For those of you on the cadre, you've already uh, read what I'm about to say, so you can fast forward if you'd like. Uh, for those of you in the other forums and on my subscribers, there's a couple of things I want to address. Recently, it's come to my attention that uh, apparently I've been accused of being political and biased in my reviews of various soaps because uh, I don't pick certain soaps uh, higher than others. Well, I want to address that. First of all, am I a brand ambassador for Sapovnichio Sapo Garasino? Yes, I am. However, what most people don't know is I went to them to ask them to be a brand ambassador. They didn't come to me, uh, nor do I receive, nor have I ever received any soaps aftershaves, colognes, perfumes, essential oils for free, nor at a major discount. Um, and all of my reviews are done with a non-biased scientific approach. In fact, if most of you that follow me know that I don't even factor in cost because cost to me is a bias in itself. I look at the science. I look at how it's made, what ingredients are in there, and how it performs on my face. Now, it should be said at this point that this is my opinion. These are my shaves, just like I always say, hey, your shaves. So to be accused of being politically biased, and thirdly, to be accused of, if anybody disagrees with me, that uh, especially on the forum that I am an owner of with my two partners, that you're going to be chastised or, uh, or punished, that's laughable. I actually am very open to everybody's comments as long as you do one thing, and that's be respectful. Those of you that have witnessed where a member may have disagreed, it's because they were a jerk, they were rude, they were name calling, and I will not put up with that on my forum nor in my personal life. So that out of the that out of, aside, I welcome your comments because I'll tell you what, one of my best friends in the wet shaving community who I've known for a long time, we disagree 50% of the time. And he will tell you that we disagree 50% of the time and many of you know him. However, we respect each other's opinions and when we do agree with something, it's like the most amazing thing in the world and it's fantastic. So let's put that aside. If you disagree with my reviews, whether they be on YouTube or whether they be my written reviews, by all means, put your comments in, but be respectful. Um, just like I am to you, and I'll respect your opinion. So I wanted to address that. The second thing I want to address is the bias. Every soap that I have, which you cannot see off camera, is over 500 soaps, and I've tried probably close to 1,000. Every single one of those I have paid for. So number one, there's no bias as far as cost is concerned. And to take that one step further, my own partner is one of the best soap makers in the industry, and his soap doesn't even make the top of my list. Most recently, uh, the soap that was on top of the list, which was Panacrema and then Opuntia by Sap and Fischio Vecino, was unseated by Sebum Gold. Now, many of you are, are very upset that Sebum would even make the top of my list because he's been accused of lying about his ingredients, lying about that. Well, I've spoken to him, and I paid full price. I didn't get a deal. I spent $95 on the soap and $185 on the aftershave serum. Why? Because I wanted to try it. Two, because it had quality ingredients that were natural. And three, it performs. It performs the best out of any soap I've ever used. Uh, many people were upset when I picked Sapo and Ficio Veracino over Kaizen because Kaizen was the best base. None of these soaps are bad. They are all great soaps. But do they pass muster for me as being the top notch? No. So I'll finish this up by saying this. Um, I, when I put my reviews and I put my videos out. I'm doing it as a member. Now, do I understand that I have a responsibility as the owner of the Shaving Cadre Forum uh, to put out non-biased reports? Yes, and that's what I've done. So let's let's set that aside. Any review that you see from me is done from a specifically non-biased report. If it wasn't, CBL Soaps would be on the top of the list all the time. Why? Because he's my family, he's my partner, and he's a, a very good friend. Or in, in the case of uh, that member that we disagree all the time, if it was biased, then him and I would be at odds. So don't feel that you can't put your opinions down, but also know that I'm not doing anything that is uh, biased towards our vendors, towards our artisans. And that, in fact, quite the opposite. Uh, so here's what I would say. If you are a vendor, whether it be on our forum, whether it be on 
any other forum that this come from, because this came from various forums that I found this out about of people talking. And I feel very honored that little old me and my opinions and my videos count so much to create a conversation that I was biased. Well, I would say this. Uh, if you're a soap maker or if you're a brush maker or if you're a perfume maker or anything that I've reviewed that has not made the top of the list, one simple thing, step up your game. You want to be on the top of my review list, then step up your game. That's all I got to say, folks. I welcome uh, your opinions. My video reviews and my video and my paper reviews are done to assist in you making a decision but it's not the end all be all. It's my opinion. My water's different. The way I shave is different. So to hear that people are scared to say anything or that I'm very political, quite frankly, uh, upsets me. Um, now, as I said, I've got 30 years of, of traditional shaving experience. I, I was a business owner. I am now a barber. Uh, I have some knowledge uh, in uh, making perfumes, in making soaps, in essential oils. So it's not like I don't research any of this before I do my videos. I do. And so I hope that clears the air for everybody, both on the shaving cadre, which you've seen this before uh, in my written form, or on the internet, in my YouTube channel, or on any of the other forums that happen to look at my stuff. I look at every single soap, regardless of cost, non-bias. And again, if you want your soap and your base and your perfume and your aftershave to be on top of the list, then step up your game. Hope everybody has a nice day, and now this. Good day, everybody. Welcome to Barber Dave's Barber Shop at Home. We certainly appreciate you joining us for our three-day shave series. Very excited today, although it's going to be somewhat cryptic, unfortunately. Um, I've been asked by a U.S.-based soap maker to test... Uh, beta test a new soap. Now I'm very excited this for one reason. Those of you that follow my channel and those of you on the cadre know that uh, sebum, uh, in this case sebum aqua, is the top soap in my den for a couple of reasons. One, the science. Two, um, the quality of lather. Three, the performance overall and the post shave because uh, and they're not cheap. I mean, they're, they're not cheap. And a lot of people think that well, my sebum's too expensive. Well, that's a matter of perception. But anyhow. This U.S. soap base maker has basically reverse engineered uh, everything that's in uh, sebum. Not only in the soap, but what's in the aftershave serum. Now, the game changer here is if this comes to fruition, uh, I can tell you right now, it will absolutely, hands down, be probably the best soap in the wet shaving community ever. It is going to be a direct competitor to uh, sebum gold and not in a negative way because sebum gold's a great soap but i've been using this for the last four days under various conditions with various lathering techniques and uh, like sebum it is exact i mean right down from the consistency of the soap to how you have to lather it because there is there is a specific step on how to lather it how you shave with it the post shave and the aftershave serum now i can't show that to you uh, I am going to shave with it, but I will tell you this in my honest opinion. And once again, as we know from recent events, this is my opinion. And I chose not to reveal the soap maker to alleviate any bias that uh, I've been accused of in the past. So, but I will tell you this, based on the four days that I've been using it, uh, this is a game changer. Completely a game changer. Because if it comes to fruition, this, as I said, is going to be a direct competitor for um, sebum. Uh, but at a reduced cost. And uh, it is, quite frankly, better. Uh, this will become, uh, again, if it comes to fruition, this will become the top-notch soap in my den by a long shot. And I mean that by performance, post-shave, and how I feel hours later. So the one thing I can share with you today is I will be using my brand new Blackland Tradeer razor, the open comb version. It's got a Persona Super in it, which I've never used before, and they're actually pretty good. Um, for those of you that know the Tradeer, uh, if that's the way you pronounce it, I think it's Trady, I'm, I'm not sure, but this is exact. I mean, this is identical to the original, down to the way the printing is done for Tradeer. I guess uh, Sean at Blackland uh, got uh, permission to use all this, and uh, the other razor that obviously Blackland does that is probably the best open comb, in my opinion, uh, is the 
vector. I will tell you this about the Tradier. It's a beautiful razor, as you can see. Very ornate, very heavy. Uh, the open comb, it is aggressive. I would say it's about as aggressive as a fat boy on nine. So it's, it's an aggressive razor. You have to be careful with it. But it is absolutely wonderful to shave with. And uh, I've wanted one of these. And those of you that know that I missed out on the real one, but this is as close as you're going to get. Uh, is it worth the $265? <laughs> Again, perception. To me, it is because it's a razor I always wanted. Now, the only other thing I can show to you today that I am using is my aftershave, and that's the Ombre's Barbershop uh, aftershave that was created by CBL for my shop, and it will be available at some point. Uh, it's an aftershave milk, but actually, it's more like an EDT. And when I mean that is it, it has all the nourishment of... Um, of a regular uh, aftershave, but the fragrance will last 14 hours. Uh, somebody had asked uh, whether it has uh, the same ingredients as, uh, as Frank's Ethos Complex. I in fact, I know it does. So it has a lot of the same stuff in it. Uh, tremendous. And that's no knock against Frank. Frank's stuff is great. It's on the top tier of my, my den. But this stuff um, and I'm very proud because it's got my barbershop's name on it. It's going to be offered to my clients and to you. Uh, it is uh, wonderful. So that I can share that. And then I can also share uh, that I'm going to be shaving with my Gray Dog synthetic brush. Now, uh, as with sebum, uh, I found that face leathering is the best with sebum and synthetic. And remember earlier I said that this... Um, this soap matched sebum identically. Same thing. The way you have to lather this is you have to start out with a mostly dry brush. Get some proto lather on there and it gets very thick and pasty. And then you just have to add water accordingly. Um, is it an easy soap to lather? Well, yes and no. You just have to do the right steps, but I do find that with this soap and with sebum that you just do add water slowly and build it up. But in a direct comparison with sebum, of which I'll be shaving with tomorrow, but just based on the fact that I did spend a lot of time with sebum before I made it my top soap, the soap maker that has made this soap has nailed it. I mean, nailed it. The face feel, if you remember my videos from the sebum, the face feel was the big thing. The nourishment on how your face felt. The second was the slickness. And I don't know if the camera translates it, but this is probably the most reflective soap I've ever seen. It's so shiny, so slick, so pillowy that in a direct competition with sebum, um, it blows it it, 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 it beats it. The face feel is, well, let me put it into numbers since I do my reviews that way. On a scale of one to five, uh, this is a five, sebum would have been a four or a three even. Um, it is just, it's amazing. Probably the best face feeling soap I've ever had on my face. Once you get the lather right, it is amazing. It stays thick, uh, it stays pillowy, and uh, it feels great on the face. So as I said, if this comes to fruition, this is a game changer. The Tradier, uh, the open comb version, was the original. They do, uh, Blackland does offer a closed comb or a safety bar version of this, but I wanted the original. And with the weight of this razor, going back to, the, to this soap, um, it literally just falls off the face. Just amazing. The one thing about the Tradier razor uh, is 
touches everything because it is an aggressive razor so you cannot be heavy-handed with it at all especially with it being an open comb i would say it's probably the most aggressive open comb i've used but the persona supers in this are pretty nice i will probably try a paula silver si wisdom mat now the residual slickness with water is off the chart. You could probably do your second two passes with just water. Um, just, just amazing. So, as far as the initial, the initial tests over the last four days, not to mention the fact that I'm it's it's direct competitor based on ingredients, based on naturalness, based on skin nourishing properties. Uh, is sebum gold what this soap is going to do once again if it comes to fruition is this is going to bring the quality and the shave enjoyment of sebum into almost everybody's house and i truly believe that this you know wet shaving goes through evolutionary moments i think and i think those of us that have been wet shaving for this long and have been around the forums long enough know that both razors soaps uh, brushes there are, there are benchmark moments when a product comes out And everybody goes crazy. Um, Sterling soaps is an example. Uh, when Sterling hit the market, set it on fire. And it's still a wonderful soap. Same with uh, Frank from Ethos. Set it on fire. When the Tradier came out, people went crazy. When the Vector came out, people went crazy. So there's evolutionary moments. Uh, Gray Dog brushes. Evolutionary moment in brush making. Um, so there are evolutionary moments in shaving that change the, the shaving world, in my opinion, uh, forever. This one is it. And those of you that know me know that I pined over buying sebum because I thought I can't spend that kind of money. But... The soap came out at its normal release price, which is $95. And then, of course, I'm all about skin care and hair care. So I wanted to try what the claims were of the natural stuff. And so I did drop the $185 bucks on the aftershave serum. But cost per usage is less than 0.01 cents, so you don't use much. But like I said in previous videos, uh, you know, I'll spend $450, $500 on a Tom Ford or a Creed or some of the other um, parfums that like Dave reviews, Nurse Dave reviews, and not think twice about it. So, you know, uh, some people have a hard time wrapping your head around spending that kind of money on an aftershave or a soap, but it's, again, perception. What this soap is going to do is set that perception on its ear. Um, and you can see just by the shininess of it, and each pass is just tremendously better. The uh, uh, strength of scent could be a little bit higher, and I've spoken to this soap maker about that. I cannot reveal the scent as well to protect his integrity. But I can tell you, if your hand is wet, and you try to, to get away with shaving with this, you'll slip, it'll slip right out of your hands. It is the smoothest feeling soap that I've had in my face. And like I said, sebum I tested for a long time and it is tremendous as are all the other soaps that I have in my top tier. Uh, including Kaizen, including Ethos, including Sepa Figo Rarcino, including Panacrema Olavia, 
including Mitchell's Wolfette, including Sterling, including, uh, you know, you name it. Because most of the soaps I have now are considered top tier soaps by me. Um, victory. Um, so, but there are certain soaps that basically set the standard. And uh, sebum, for me, was the one that set that standard until now. Uh, and as I said, I hope this comes to fruition. I hope this is not just a beta test and never see it again. Now, for me, I'm fortunate. I've got some. But because uh, whether most people want to admit it or not, cost aside, like me, there's a chance that you wanted to try sebum soaps. But for whatever reason, cost probably being the primary and thinking it's crazy to spend that kind of money is probably the reason why you haven't. Um, once again, uh, residual slickness with water is amazing. Residual slickness without water is amazing. Just a little bit of cleanup. And I've been using alum this week with this tree deer since I got it. This is a second shave with the tree deer. Um, just to see and test my my uh, pressure because I've been using the feather and with the feather you don't pretty much have to think. So this is definitely more aggressive than my 15 and that's known to be an aggressive razor. But the tree deer has always been known as a an aggressive razor. Um, but just tremendous. And like I said, the fit and finish is fantastic. But back to this product. Um, those of you that have always wanted to try sebum, but felt that it was out of reach uh, or not worth spending the money for. And I keep saying this, if this comes to fruition, every wet shaver on the planet is going to be able to, to get this and have a soap in your den that is, in my opinion, once again, the absolute best ever made, um, the best skin nourishing soap ever made, uh, and the most natural soap ever made, which for some people is very important. So uh, your face feels extremely moisturized. Uh, the scale of scent is still on there. Uh, just tremendous. Now, I cannot show you the aftershave, but the aftershave is exactly um, formulated the same way as the sebum. This is all you need. One drop. And I think it's neat that these vendors are stepping up their game. I mean, the first uh, aftershave serum was probably this one. It's been around a while. The Omega Quay that's got hyaluronic acid in it. And then there's been, you know, the Nivea that's come out. Pa pow for Dave. Um, the Nivea that's come out. And then Frank with Ethos came out with his skin food, which is tremendous. Sebum came out with theirs. All again, good stuff. But using this for the last four days, and I've been working. So 12, 12 hours in the shop cutting hair. And then it's been 107 degrees, and you would think that a aftershave serum oil would have would give me swamp face after 12 hours, and it hasn't. What I did notice about this version or this soap maker's take on the sebum is that it absorbs a little bit less quickly, but the facial properties on your face and the smoothness of how it feels are better and last longer, and the scent does as well. Uh, today we'll be using Borotalco for the um, talc, and you do have to let this dry down a little bit, uh, but once it's dried down, it's perfect, and in my opinion, it actually enhances the powder a little bit. So if, if you're a guy that wants your skin to feel, and this is going to sound funny, if, you want, if you're a guy that wants your uh, skin to feel silky, silky soft, um, this will be 
um, this will be removed. And like I said, I hope that this comes to fruition. I really, really do. Um, the soap does not dissipate at all. Um, it stays nice and thick. Um, and for those of you that are, that are cost conscious, you don't have to worry about, you know, $100 worth of soap going down the drain. But I did find that just like sebum, um, a synthetic brush, fairly dry, with uh, some added water, uh, little by little, is the best. I've tried it with uh, Badger. I've tried it with, and they all work. They work, and you can bowl lather this too. Um, it's, but there is a process, uh, as is with sebum. And that's the part that impresses me so much with this maker's um, reverse engineering of this, that it's exact. I mean, there is nothing different uh, as far as the procedures on how to use it, both in the aftershave serum and in the shaving soap. Um, it is, but it's better. The performance is better. I think that there's a, a little bit, even a little bit more natural stuff uh, that goes in this that just make it makes it uh, tremendous um, for the aftershave today we are going to be using as I said the serum and then we're going to be using the ombres barbershop which as most of you now know is basically chiseled faces groomatorium ghost town barber on steroids pepper cilantro jalapeno saddle leather um, uh, barber chair leather um, it literally smells like a, an old Western barbershop, uh, gun smoke, gunpowder. And what's nice about this is you can use this not only as an aftershave, but you can use this as an EDT. Um, Dave, uh, nurse Dave has something almost exactly like this in his flavor, um, dolphin butt. And I think that he'll confirm that this stuff is tremendous. So anyways, that's our shave. I wish I could tell you more, but this soap, when it comes out, is going to be not only a direct competitor, but a, uh, a an increased version, um, and it will, uh, I believe, set the uh, the shaving world on fire. It's that good. I've been Barbara Dave. Thank you for joining us at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. Uh, if you haven't seen us over at the Cadre, come check us out, www.theshavingcadre.com. Uh, I hope everybody has a blessed Sunday. Mm -hmm.